This afternoon, Dickinson State Blue Hawks faced off against Mayville State Comets with the North Star title on the line. Having split the regular season with the regular season series with the Comets, this title game was a good one. After trailing by 15 at halftime, the Blue Hawks had some work to do. The Comets have it now, and Trent Blackshear has an open lane to the hoop, and he throws it down with authority. The Comets, they're flying right now, and the Blue Hawks, they're not going to give up that easily, though. Here's Egbule with it for Dickinson State. He explodes to the basket and lays it up and in. About five minutes to play now. Mayville, they're going to break up the court, and Danilo Da Silva is going to find Steele Sinski. He's going to nail the three ball. This game is practically done and dusted, and the Comets are the North Star champions. It was a busy final day of the regular season in the Mondak Basketball Conference. With the conference record of 8-12, Bismarck State had hopes of finishing the season on a high note when they hit the road to face off against Lake Region. The Mystics coming into this one, they had lost their last three. We start here in the first half with the Mystics trailing early. Garrett Bader hits the, near side, the shot from the near side corner. It's a long two, and the Mystics, they trail by one. Martinez, he's pulling strings for the Mystics again. He fires it across court to Anthony Bertucci in the corner. This one counts for three, and the Mystics take a two-point lead. Under 14 minutes left in the first half. Martinez drives and pulls up from the elbow. He knocks it down, and he finishes with 25 points on the day. The Mystics men's close out their season with a 75-72 win over the Royals. The Mystics women's team, they're 12-8 and eight in the conference. Here's Raven Robinson leading the break for the Royals. She ha hits a nice spin move and goes up and in, lays it up, and cuts BSC's lead down to six. Second half now, the Mystics are ahead with a 16-point lead. Ashton Kinnebrew steps to her right and hits the jump shot. Nothing but net. The Mystics, their lead grows. They don't have any time to be slowing down either as Sydney Gustafson is given some space and makes him pay. She scores 20 points in the first half, finishes with 30 points to lead the Mystics to a 12-point win over the Royals. Today was the, also the final day of the regular season for the Thunderbirds, who have a conference record of 14-6. and six. The third place team in the Mondak visited the Wildcats, who were the top team in the conference with, a, with an 18-2 and two record. First half here, the Thunderbirds, they were down big to the Wildcats. On the quick transition, no one accounts for famous left hand under the basket. He lays it up and in, one of the easiest baskets he had to make. The Wildcats, they were really firing on offense. Here's a nice cut to the basket from Caleb Larson. He goes up and under and lays it in with a nice finish. His team leads by 24. The Thunderbirds are inbounding the ball now. DK Middleton finds Sylvester Union from three. This cuts into the Wildcats, Wildcats lead, but it wouldn't be enough. In the first, the top team in the conference finishes the season strong with a nice win over the Thunderbirds. In the women's game, it didn't quite go the Thunderbirds way either. They lose by 56. In other college basketball scores, the Jacks took a big win over the Tetons in men's basketball game, while the Tetons women's game, the, they won by 34. Now it's time for my favorite highlight of the day. This one shared with us some viewers. It's a junior hockey game in Minot with 9 and 10 year olds playing. Man damn Mayhem White, they're playing Minot Gold and 10 year old Aiden Cook scores this incredible goal. We're going to have to see it again. It's just him on the breakaway. He makes his defender fall down, but it's not that goal there. That one's kept out, but look what he does here. He scoops it up and sticks it on the top shelf. Easy peasy like a piece of cake. What an incredible goal from the 10 year old hockey player. Well, that does it for sports. We'll have to see you right back here after the break.